and welcome to this new part of the tutorial. So in this part, you will implement you will implement a movement log movement, but we will be able to assign the position of our sprites. So if we run our game now, the position is always static. It stays in the bottom corner, and we can move this. So to implement uh, this in your sprite.h file, create a new property with the assign attribute. And assign is basically what you use for uh, simple types, not objects. So for yes, yeah, so, uh, so for primitive types and like structures. So uh, names GLK vector two and position. Okay, now in your in your render method of your sprite class, uh, first off, take the GL clear and put it like the first thing in your method. Okay, and then create now. What you basically do is you type self dot base effect dot transform dot model view matrix equals and actually what you'll do type equals model view matrix matrix and we will create this now then make a glk matrix for model view matrix sorry matrix and now uh, what this equals is glk matrix for translate and now so uh, the first argument will be glk matrix for identity and then in the x so for x translation type self dot position dot x for the y position for the y translation type self dot position dot y and for the float just type uh, for the c Translation just times zero. Now, what what this all means basically? So, uh, essentially, every time we we translate or uh, remove our sprite, we have to reset the the, the previous transformation of the model view matrix. And essentially, we first assign our transformation kinda to Schilke matrix for identity. Now, if you don't know linear algebra uh, in simple multiplication if you multiply something with nine uh, with one so if you multiply one with nine we get nine so you always uh, always get that number back so same is with the identity matrix in, in linear algebra if you multiply something with the identity matrix you'll get that matrix back so what we do basically, we create a new matrix uh, based on the translations of uh, of our uh, our position variable, and then we use that matrix to basically and and then we multiply that matrix with the with the identity matrix, and that way we define a new model view matrix. And the model view matrix it like creates yeah it does open when GL what our transformation is. And then we assign that that model view matrix to the model view matrix property of of the base effect class. Okay, now in your in your view controller.m file in the constructor uh, type at the bottom type cell.cat dot Position equals glk vector to make and let's say 60, 70. Oh, actually, do like, um, and do like, now we'll do like 408 minutes. Or no, yeah, like four, yeah, I do 400, 300. That's, yeah, just to show. And you see our rabbit like moved, happening relative to uh, the bottom left corner of our screen. 
Okay. Now, while we are at it, let's also implement rotation. So, for rotation, return to your sprite class and again create a new property. And, and also assign, this time use a simple float and name it rotation. Now, uh, in, in open GL, there actually is something called like an order of transformation. Um, if we would first rotate and then translate our, um, our sprite, the result would be different if we would first translate and then rotate our sprite. So what we want is essentially say we did our 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 transformation and then we, we did our rotation. So what we want is that our uh, rabbit is move is rotated at this position. So but if we would have the rotated our sprite first and then translated it or essentially our rabbit so say we rotate or well, we translate our rabbit like 90 degrees and then we rotate it it would it would well, I'm sorry if we would translate our rabbit like 500 pixels well actually I'll, I'll show you so uh, create like so underneath the translate statement uh, function do glk matrix for rotate and the first will be our model view matrix oh i'm sorry model view matrix equals so model view matrix and radians and uh, radiance uh, that's basically it's like 57 one radiant is like 57 something degrees but there is like this neat function it's called glk mat the east radiant so just do that function and fill and translate the, the degrees radiance for us and just use our self dot rotation argument and then on what axis so in our game we most of the time, we, well, like 99% of the time, we would want to rotate on this z-axis. So just do 0, 0, and 1. So essentially, around what axis do we want to, to rotate our, our uh, sprite? So now we uh, first we translate and then we rotate. And I'll show you the result of this. So if we assign this in our um, oops, in, in our view controller, so we go to our, so in our, in our constructor, we give this um, so cell get dot rotation equals c90. And then we run this. You can see it's like rotated 90 degrees. Yes, and and it rotates counterclockwise. Now, uh, I'll like change this to something else. Um, I'll keep this at 400, and this will be zero. So zero on the zero on the y. So now it's here. Now, if we first rotate our sprite and then translate it, the result is different. So I'll show you. So if we change this to, um, if we just copy this now glk matrix for identity and here we just put it in the new matrix so now we flip the order of transformation uh, what's what's wrong oh yes Okay, so if you run this now, our rabbit is completely gone. I'm not even sure where it is. I guess it's like here somewhere. Um, it's off screen. It's, yes, it's like here, I guess. Now, wait, I'll uh, 
just to show you if we now like move this, I guess minus, minus 200 will this help? I'm not even sure. Yes, it's so basically our rabbit is, it's now like here if we did, yeah. So essentially the order of the transformation, it matters. Yeah, but for our game and in most games, I guess, you always want to first translate and then rotate. So I'll just use. Okay, so now it should work and it's off screen. This is got so I did minus 200. I'll change to plus 200 and it should work now just fine and it does. Okay, so that was it for today and yeah, see you next time. Bye.